Famed as much for his playing career as his more recent exploits in the commentary box, Ken Brown has seen the game of golf transform. Golfing World recently paid Ken a visit to ask him about his career and look back on his life both on and off the course. I joined the tour in well, 76 or 75 I first played, so I, I've been fortunate enough to see the Europeans start from the bedrock and move to where it is today, you know, the second best tour in the world with some of the greatest players that play the game. And I, I played for about uh, 15 years, I suppose, maybe a bit more than that. And the, 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 there's, there's so many things that have in, improved when you look at the, the, the quality of the courses, the quality of the equipment we played with absolute dross. And I'm sure players that came before us thought our, our equipment was absolutely fantastic. Ken won four times on the European Tour and claimed one PGA Tour title. However, he also fondly remembers his time in the Ryder Cup, making five appearances and helping Europe to win it back from the Americans. I should have won a few more times. I had a lot of close calls and bits and pieces, but uh, getting over the line was not easy for me. I, I somehow was always battling against myself a little bit. But winning on the Tour, our first one when I was 21, I won up at, uh, at Port Marnock beating Seve and uh, so that was a tremendous achievement and played the, played the Ryder Cup matches which were obviously the highlights of anyone's career because I joined when it was Great Britain and Ireland when I first played in 1977. The Europeans joined us in uh, 79, we weren't very good, 83 we should have, could have won and then in 85 and 87 of course we won at the Belfry for the first time in a long while, it was 27 years we hadn't won and then we won in America the following year. And there's some special moments in those matches that uh, you, 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 you never do forget. Never bad. And thank you very much. It's been a lovely day. We're glad we came. And Seve is quite extraordinary. And the captain goes berserk. Seve says it is not. Well, there's always a real team spirit. But when Seve came along and joined the team, to see if we, we're going to beat these Americans this time, it's got to happen. And you know, you saw his will went through the team. And there was a real bond. Losing in 83 by a point or so. Had to win in 85 at the Belfry home game. We had a stronger team that year and did. And then winning in America was a, uh, a tremendous achievement. And funnily enough, the week after we won the Ryder Cup in 87, I, I won my only PGA Tour title. So I had two weeks in a row of, uh, of uh, for me, was miracle golf. <laughs> after falling out of love with playing the game, Ken was looking for other ventures. After doing some course design, he received a phone call that would lead to the birth of his famous Ken on the Course analysis. John Davis phoned me from Sky and said, we're taking on the American Golf. 1992, he said, would you be interested in doing some studios? So I said, oh, no problem at all. And so we started, Livo and I, and we were hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. I'm not sure who was the most hopeless but it was, a, it was a touch and go thing and we, we still talk about it. And then John Davis, who was, I mentioned was in charge, said, look, uh, Ken, we're going to take you off the studio stuff. OK, I thought, well, here we go, that's the end of that then. But we've got some European tour stuff coming up and we'd like you to be involved in that, which came along and then I went out on the course and did my bits on the course. I suddenly found a bit of confidence and uh, off I went and I found my niche and, and then things started to fall in, into place. As well as playing in Ryder Cups with him, Ken was a good friend of Seve's. Amongst his many stories of their antics, one afternoon in 1994 stands out when they were working together in the commentary box. Seve used to do a, 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 a bit of commentary now and again. He came and did some stuff for the BBC, and uh, I mean, he, he really did enjoy doing it. And one year at Wentworth, we did the World Match Play final together. So we went out with a camera and it was the final because there's plenty of time in the final because there's lots of walking. But it was the crowd. I mean, he was, if there had been selfies, we wouldn't have got off the first. We would not have got up the first. Everybody wanted to chat with it. And funny enough, he wanted to chat to everybody. And it was a day to remember. He, he said, when the match was over, Ernie won. And he said, do, do I go onto the green? I said, Seve. No, 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 it's not, it's not my moment. It's not my moment. I said, Seve. He went on. It was it was a, you know arms round because so it was a, it was one of those days you go out on the course and you go out with the legends. You're watching the great golf. It's a good, fantastic competition, and uh, he he so enjoyed it. 